Thanks for joining us here for the ABC 6 News webcast. I'm Tonya Carter on this Wednesday, June 15th, 2016. Well, topping our news tonight, Mississippi catfish farmers vow to fight industry rivals in Asia. They are making sure Asian catfish-like species, mostly from Vietnam and China, doesn't end up on your plate. The state's catfish farmers produces half of U.S. raised farm catfish, and they labor daily under the strict safety inspection laws. After an eight-year battle, American catfish farmers rejoice when USDA took over the catfish inspection program from the FDA. Now, since the new program was implemented, the USDA halted two Vietnam catfish shipments contaminated with carcinogens. Last month, U.S. Senator John McCain pushed to get the inspection program back into the hands of the FDA. With dry weather ahead, levee repairs are underway in the port city. The Corps of Engineers will be here over the next few months. They are fixing 14 slides in Washington County. Now, they say at least 40 slides have been noted along the 212-mile stretch. The Corps says the levee slides are a superficial problem that only looks scary. However, noting slides can give off the impression the levee is unraveling, but it isn't. Well, motorists crossing over the Mississippi River Bridge may be wondering why traffic has been reduced to one lane on both sides. Well, we have that answer. The Mississippi Department of Transportation is inspecting the bridge between Greenville and Lake Village. The inspection is part of a federally required wellness exam for all bridges. Until the end of July, the outside lanes in both east and westbound directions will be closed across the main span. Transportation officials say the impact should be minimal. However, motorists are asked to watch for MDOT crews and contractors on the bridge. Well, several members of the Washington County community now have some extra leadership skills under their belts. 13 members of the Washington County Economic Alliance leadership class graduated this morning at the Greenville Country Club. The nine-month program teaches professional development and leadership skills. The graduates were selected by their employers to be a part of the class in hopes that they can better contribute to the community. During their time in the program, the group renovated a teen room at the Boys and Girls Club in Washington County as their class project. We are nominated by our employers to be in the program, and in the program we just learn like professional development, um, how to gain more leader skills, that type of thing. Added to my resume, I just I like um, being able to participate in things and just things that makes me a better person. And nomination forms are available for the 2016-2017 class. If you're interested in nominating one of your employees, contact the Washington County Economic Alliance.